Welcome inside the Panama City Center for the Arts, everybody. Right here behind me, some of the artwork that you could see on display at the Art City PC's closing reception. That's this Friday, January 10th. Let's learn a little bit more about some of the details from Dixie Clef, who works with the Bay Arts Alliance. They've worked hard to put this, this reception on, and you guys have had this exhibit for about a month now. So let's get into the details about how people can come out for the last night this Friday. This Friday from 6 to 8 p.m. we're having our free reception and you can come meet the artists. There's about 50 artists in the show so you can meet them, learn about their art, learn about their inspiration and maybe even buy one of their pieces. Yeah, something else that we want to stress, like Dixie said, it is free. If you purchase a piece, that is not, but to attend, to support them, that's completely free. So what's it like for you guys to be able to, to give them that platform and of course help people redecorate their homes with this artwork? Well, one of our missions is to support local art. So it's always great to be able to show the art um, of local artists and to let people meet local artists and really get to know them. Yeah, what's the response that you get usually from these artists whenever you have these events? I know Art City PC, it's not the first year, but it's still something very new for you guys. It's always fun when you have so many artists so they get to meet each other and talk about their own art. And also, um, it's just fun to be able to tell artists that their art's sold. And I, honestly, my job is so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. We love to hear that. Something else that's going to be fun is you guys are giving some local students the chance to put their photography on display. Tell us a little bit about that. It's coming up January 17th. Mm -hmm. On January 17th, we're opening the next show in the main gallery. It's from 5 to 7 p.m. You can come and meet the students at Rosenwald High School. So what they did is they wanted to help students cope with what they went through with Hurricane Michael. So students were able to bring in photos and tell their story through the photos that they took after the hurricane. Awesome. And again, let's talk a little bit about what it's like for you guys. These students maybe aren't as established of artists as the people who are in this exhibit, so that gives them the chance to, to put their work on display, put something in their portfolio. It does, and we love doing that for kids, to have their artwork here and to give them something to be like, oh my gosh, my art was in a gallery um, at such a young age. It's, such, it's so great. Yeah, it's a really, really great blessing for them as they get started in their career. Something else that's important for people at home to know is the center will be closing throughout the month of January at times for repairs. Talk a little bit about what's ahead on the redesign phase for January. Painting. So much painting. We're going to paint pretty much every wall. Um, we're going to be redesigning the lobby, redesigning the gift shop. We're going to be doing, um, changing out uh, wayfinding so the visitor experience will be better. We'll have a new desk in the front, which we're really excited about. Maybe it's a little geeky, but we're really excited about <laughs> our new okay, lobby yeah. desk. <laughs> of course. And then something else, too. Just because the center's closed, there's still a chance for everybody at home to participate. So there's one final way that people can enter their art. Tell us a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. So when we open up in February again on February 1st, we're going to have three new exhibits. And one of the exhibits is called Identity. So you can actually bring in your own art having to do with the theme of identity. Uh, the art will be due on January 24th and 25th. Um, and it can be any medium, but as long as it deals with the theme of identity. Cool. All right. Well, get on over to their Facebook page. I'll have that linked on mypanhandle.com, and you'll be able to submit your art and find out the other details you need. If you need a little refresher later to attend the events on January 10th this Friday or January 17th, that's next week, support some local students and local artists. In Panama City, Mackenzie McClintock, News 13, Panhandle Strong.